Hey guys, welcome back to another lesson of Level Up Your Lighting and Rendering. In today's lesson, we are going to be talking about what is USD. So in brief, USD is a packaging solution. So what it means is, instead of having multiple files of different objects, you'll have just one file, which would be compatible with all the 3D softwares, ideally. This helps you move from one software to the other to perform specific tasks. You can even edit simple objects in one software and it would reflect in all of the others. And that's the beauty of USD. In theory, USD stands for Universal Scene Description. By universal, it means that it wants to support all the software that work with 3D. Currently, not all the software support it, but most of them do. Such as Maya, Katana, Houdini, Renderman, Arnold, etc. By scene, we mean the composition of different 3D assets in one scene, which can include geometry, materials, cameras, lights, and even animation data. And finally, by description we mean a proper formatting that can be understood by programmers, creators, and even computer softwares. This makes it easy for us to navigate the overall scene and how it works. So now you'll be wondering, why do we need this now? Because we have been working with 3D for ages. And why suddenly a need to have a USD pipeline? Well, first of all, during the last few years, there have been a lot of softwares which have come out and they specialize in a lot of very specific things such as Maya for animation, Houdini for effects, Katana for lighting, Renderman for rendering and there are many more. And as a creator, we want to use them all. But transferring files from one to the other always becomes a tedious task, especially when you want to do complicated stuff like have thousands and thousands of buildings in a city scene. And to counter that, we have USD. So how do we get it? Ideally, because USD was developed by Pixar, you would want to get it from them. But nowadays, different software companies have developed their own versions of USD plugin to support their own softwares. So you would want to get Myers from Myers depository on GitHub and Katana from the foundry. I've created a whole lesson on how you can install USD for Maya and Katana. It will be linked right below the like button. I'm sure you're curious about how USD looks in Maya. It looks like just another scene with proper scene hierarchy and group structures in the outliner. To help navigate the USD files, there's also a USD stage, which is a panel that shows how many different USD files there are and which instances you are using. You can select the meshes directly from the viewport just like any other object and the overall workflow is really smooth. Apart from transferring files, USD has some really cool features. For example, you don't have to go and edit each object and then export again a whole USD file. USD natively supports linking, so you can work on one object separately and it will directly get updated in the USD layer to which it is referenced. USD is also really good with instancing, so you can have multiple copies of the same object without breaking the software. And finally, USD is really good to get fast results directly through viewport by working with shading and lighting without the need to render them. Due to this, it is really good to be integrated with AR and VR. And hence, we are also really excited to use it in Unreal Engine in the near future. So if you want to read more about USD, you can go to Pixar's documentation, which is really in-depth and very well documented. However, if you don't want to read that much and you are just a Maya user, you can go to Maya's blog on area.autodesk.com, which will give you a basic gist of what USD is and how it works with Maya. And if you are really curious to know more about it, there are really good talks on YouTube. People have been really nice in sharing their knowledge and I recommend you to go and watch those webinars. All right then, that's the basics of USD and what it is. And with that, we can finally start to export our objects from Maya to Katana using USD in the next lesson. So I'll catch you there.